There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music, and last video I decided to make myself suffer through one of the worst albums I've heard this side of the universe, The Rich White Man 2. Yo, I want a divorce because she want to suck my cock because it's like a horse. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that is terrible. I am all suffered out today. So today, instead, I decided to watch someone on the brink of death uh, as they listen to possibly one of the worst albums ever created, AJR's Living Room. I've heard this album before, and it was so bad. It was so terrible. The words really, really just do no justice to this thing. With hits such as Man, I Feel Just Like Woody Allen and Thirsty Thirsty Thursday. Possibly one of the worst things ever conceived by man. The guy I am watching today suffer is uh, named The Tune Up, a longtime friend of the channel who has generously spared his time to suffer through one of the worst pieces of trash known to man. Uh, let's join in together and see how his suffering went. Now, of course, if I was making this video, this this screen would not exist, okay? I could give less of a f already a video off to a bad start. Come outside, come outside, you now, that's a good thumbnail. See, now that it tells me everything I need to know. He's hiding his face in shame because he knows. He knows that he cannot handle the genius that is AJR's living room. Welcome back to Suggestion Session, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever suggested this to him, you are evil. I'm finally finishing up the little AJR saga that we've been having go on, and um, I don't know, man. We get into living room right here, right now. <laughs> this man has been squeezed of all his life force already, as you can see. Even from this thumbnail, he's making the same face. Okay, this dude cannot handle AJR, but he is a trooper. He is a soldier on the front lines here, doing what no man is brave enough to do. Not even me! Okay, this this album will destroy a man. It will make a man a, a whimper and cower for his life. What the hell are we gonna do without men? There's always open ears, open hearts, and open minds over here. So, big mistake. Keep it up, y'all's favorite band. Let's get into it, man. Overture. You can tell he's saying it's not bad, but slowly his soul is leaving his body as the sinking realization that what he is listening to is actually bad is uh, is approaching. You can see the smirk on his face. Okay, he's like, okay, uh, this is what I'm getting into. This is this is what I have to expect. Interestingly enough, that's the best overture I've heard from them yet. A very empty compliment. Infinity. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sinking. There it is again. That sinking feeling. That sinking feeling. Yeah, two songs in. This is already better than Click. <laughs> you... All right, Click was an ambitious be to the stars, to the moon project. Okay, this this project. Uh, it doesn't have the same level of balls. Now, it's there's a funny, uh, incredible scale that goes on when it comes to bad music, okay? And, and the more ambitious bad music is, the worse it is. So this is just bad, okay? You can see the suffering on his face uh, from the boredom of it, it, but he's able to push it down, you know? He's able to hold that in and say, this sounds okay, but he will not be able to do that on further cuts. Number three, I'm ready. I think this is, I guess, the, the hit from it. Yep. Um, I saw this in their top songs um, a while ago, so I mean, I, let, let's just see what they let's let's see what it is. Let's let's see what we're working with. <laughs> there it begins. There it is again. That sinking feeling. He's contemplating life. It's over. It's over. He has seen what this album's true colors are. Okay, this is where it begins. Oh my god. <laughs> I should I should have seen it coming by the, 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 the name of the song. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that throughout the entire song? Oh, please don't tell me that's throughout the entire song. <laughs> Lyrics of this song are absolutely horrific. Um, back when I was 15, I vibed with this track, though. I mean, I had no, I, I didn't see any problems with this song when I was 15. I was like, yeah, this, this song's a bop. <laughs> How you feeling about that one, huh? Is this... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, number four, my calling. <laughs> He's got nothing to say. He's speechless. Words, words hold no meaning anymore. My calling. I will say I like that I can hear other vocals on this album. I'm still so, so unhappy with the last song. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like that really just, wow. Um. I guess he wasn't I do ready. I like the versatility in vocals in this one. I don't think they're as strong as they are now, obviously. I mean, this was their... I'm guessing this was the debut. This was their first album. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll add more context. Okay, uh, Jack is like the main singer here, but I think Ryan or whatever one of the other brothers was uh, was also giving vocals on this album. Uh, so it wasn't just uh, the, the one guy who can sing, uh, but it was also the guy who can't sing to save his life. Uh, throughout this album and you can easily tell between the two so I, it's dope that they've improved vocally completely like the notes that they were hitting on OK Orchestra were just phenomenal like man <laughs> we got a lot of songs left too so let's see what they do whoever is in the comments that's always tallying up the songs man you can add this one to that one that was pretty good number five thirsty <laughs> <Event>. <laughs> This is this is where you got to really keep your eyes open on the reaction here, okay? This is this song is is you aren't ready. I vaguely remember somebody commenting about this song. So I'm nervous. Thirsty Thursday. Okay, no. 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 <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. But no. Okay, yeah. No. no. I thought he had the balls to make it all the way through. I may. I, look, Tina made me listen to this whole album. Okay, I of course said it was okay, and I'm not trying to put her under the bus. I mean, I was okay with listening to this whole project with her. It was fun. I mean, you've got to have a stomach of steel to really be able to handle the thirst that comes from Thirsty Thirsty Thursday, okay? I, I thought I'm ready was the one that was like, nah, bro. Wow. <laughs> Again, I want to stress, if you like that, if that is your jam... I hope I hope you're watching this and just being like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. If you enjoy she has some beautiful positivity there, uh, unnecessary positivity, but positivity, but but welcome positivity nonetheless. Hold on, I think okay, I don't even think he got to the part in Thirsty where the shit becomes a uh, a dubstep section or, or a, a spook step section. Um, but please, I, I do believe that it, it gets worse. This song does get worse. I am actually sad that he didn't finish the track. That one was cool. He was able to be out of body and ignore the experience that song gave. Uh, allowing him to pass one more day. Allowing him to make it through one more song. Didn't really love it, but I'm also not like how I was previously. Number seven, Woody Allen. Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. Now I'm feeling just like Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Finally, I'm right where I should be. <laughs> 
like the melody. <laughs> no, that, that's copium. I think, um, <laughs> that's, I like the melody. <sighs> I feel like what do y'all eyes? Man. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Why though? <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be like a reference to like being no. on top of the world. I mean, it is. It's supposed to be we're on top of the world. We're having drinks with Jeffrey Epstein. Um, but unfortunately, Woody Allen, uh, not necessarily the best guy. Well, but like, Woody Allen, <laughs> that, mm, <laughs> I don't know, bro. That's so I, funny. Mm, I didn't like all of the um, vocal chops going on at all, but the way that all the melody... Oh, that was the other thing, the vocal chops. Those are legendary, dude. Uh, Tina was playing that for me to piss me off uh, just randomly throughout the days. Woody Allen. That's dope. Wow, key change. Amazing. Very 2015. <laughs> you know what? It is hard to make something complex, something with a real powerful story and a real big, like a real meaning behind it. Not my favorite. What? I'm okay on that one. I'm I'm good. But again, if that's your jam, more power to you. What is this Imagine Dragons like delivery? Now we are. It's gonna be a no for me. Thank you. It was just. See, that's the thing. There's not really that much that's different between this and the songs that he greenlit. Um, but you can tell that the tolerance meter is going down. Now, as someone who's reacted to way too much music, I understand this. As the album goes along, uh, there, you can only be nice for so long until it really starts to wear on you and it all starts to feel like the same mush. I get it. Number 12, Big Idea. Okay, Big Idea is the song. All right, now this is Ambition to the Moon. This is what inspired uh, them to really take it to the next level. This was... Pro Tools and a big idea. All right, this is really uh, AJR going to the moon. He's impressed. He's never seen such a big idea before. That's what he's thinking. He's like, man, this is too big to... It's too big! Really? <laughs> and the last song is just the same boring crap. People are like, oh, it's the best song on the album. No, it's not. Who gives a fuck? All right. And look, that's the tune-ups. A Wonderful Suffering, the one of the worst albums ever made. Uh, living Room by AJR, an album that feels truly like it was made in a living room. They don't lie. They don't cap. Uh, that this is uh, this is back before they had their real amazing ambitions uh, with them. Uh, I look if you guys love seeing me suffer with the tune up, uh, let me know. And I'll watch this other shit. Okay. Also tune up if you're there. If if he says it's not okay to do so, I'm not going to. But regardless, thanks for not killing me for suffering through with your shit. All right. All right. There you go. You seen it? Uh, we watched a man's soul die today, uh, and uh, yeah, and that's going to be it for me. Thanks, guys, for tuning in with me, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.